We got to talk about Unpacked. Samsung Unpacked is coming up. So we already know CES starts off the year. And I think for a lot of people, that's the bookend for the tech cycle for the entire year. CES at the beginning, end of the year stuff for the end of the year. But as someone who's, I'll call it extremely jaded, uh, <laughs> I've stopped paying as much attention to CES. I kind of still hope we see cool stuff at CES. Yeah. But I ultimately think there's like a couple diamonds in the rough, but then we, we start to get the heavy hitters moving out of CES into yeah. their own events. I think trade shows overall are kind of losing interest. Right. Like uh, E3 is not even happening anymore. It's officially dead. MWC is also like kind of quiet Yeah, now. yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it, but I think for me... It's becoming the Samsung event at the beginning of the year that bookends the year for mm. me. And so Unpacked, we have an announcement date. It is, well, let me check. I January 17th. 17th, thank you. Which, also, real quick on date, does this feel like it gets pushed a week oh, earlier and earlier? 100%. When is yeah. it? It's going to be before CES soon I, enough, I feel like. As long as it doesn't move before New Year's, it's fine. <laughs> I, I, that's what I was going to say, though. At yeah. what point does this not just move till December? It moves forward constantly. It, I think they always want to be like one of the first ones out of the gate with the new Snapdragon chipset. Yeah, and that's right. like why they're doing that. Yeah, I looked last year was February 9th, I believe, yeah. but I I know it's been in January before, so maybe 2022 had it, but yeah, yeah I just yeah. feel like it is creeping closer and closer. No, February. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They just went two weeks sooner this year. <laughs> yeah. Sick. So yep. we're creeping up earlier into the year, but we're basically expecting... Some of the usual suspects, S24, S24 Plus, S24 Ultra. And then there was this announcement or a sort of a teaser that they posted that said yeah. Samsung AI. Mm -hmm. oh and I don't love or hate this. Like, I, I kind of am looking forward to a lot of interesting AI things in 2024. We've had a lot of them in the past year or two. But uh, Samsung AI, what does that mean? Bixby stuff? I, is that, is that I what mean, that is? That would be interesting. It would be, I think that's a good word. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> what do you think is interesting that Samsung's doing AI or do you think no. Bixby's coming back? Well, I so, think Bixby's dead. I think this is the official death of Bixby. Yeah. Well, it could be a rebranding moment for Bixby. It could be a total revamp for like Bixby is this new multimodal focus of the phones or it could be some totally new Samsung AI and they just drop the Bixby name and it's just Samsung AI. They or could be pulling a Mr. Peanut where how they killed Mr. Peanut <laughs> killed and then they Bixby brought him back. Bixby dies and but they brought him back. <laughs> Bigger and better. As a baby Bixby. Interesting. Yeah, baby Groot type stuff. I don't know. I'm I'm curious. I do think the AI thing will be very heavy focus for the entire year. Yeah. This oh, year. Yeah. Samsung so. and Google have been like weirdly tight knit and close for the last like three years too. So like... Apparently, assistant on like Bard with the Google Assistant with Bard is launching fairly soon. There's mm -hmm. there was a bunch of rumors mm -hmm. that were going out this week about it launching in the like the next couple weeks or months. So maybe they like launch it on a Galaxy device. Oh, In yeah. I mean, that'd be cool. but they're calling it Samsung AI. Yes, I think I Galaxy AI. AI is what they called it. Galaxy the, AI. I yeah. think that's what it's called in the teaser. Yeah. So I would. Yeah, Galaxy AI is coming. I really don't bad. know what that means. Please don't that's what that. I think. It's that's why I think Bixby's gone. I think this is the new name. Let's rank this from worst possibilities to best possibilities. Worst possibility is it's a slight bump to Bixby as it already exists, and it's annoyingly bad. No, there's a worst possibility, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> There's so a button. ominous. Um, but I think optimistically, Galaxy AI is a giant focus on software features that have AI behind them, powering them on the phones, and that can uniquely differentiate some of the things on this phone from other phones that come out. Do you have, Maybe. Do you, do you have ideas? In my eyes, worst case scenario is we never get the Bixby speaker because now Bixby is dead. Still had hopes for it. Oh, the Galaxy Home. <laughs> Technically, it was Samsung called the Galaxy, Galaxy Home. Yeah, the Galaxy yeah. Home AI now. Yeah. But um, I think I think Bixby's gone completely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Wait, that's, that's bad news? <laughs> Is it the best case for scenario? For the memes, or the worst yes. Case scenario? Okay. For the, the user experience, probably best case. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now... Yeah, what is your scenario? Okay, so my, my best case scenario is that they just low-key integrate thing like transformer models into everything like apple the only the only times they've ever really mentioned ai is when they say like Auto transformer is now uh are powering the keyboard i would love if like if samsung oh, yeah. keyboard got updated with like a transformer architecture in the background if it was like low-key stuff 
that would be great. We but know it's not going to be low key. This stuff. <laughs> announcement suggests not low key. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My worst case scenario okay. is that they're going to have like an on device uh, image generator and. Do you know how they have the uh, Samsung like me emojis? What do they call it? Yeah, there's a name for there's it. There's too many. There's, it's either an emoji or, or bit mo- me emoji. Oh, there's too many. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. probably going to like have some sort of AI <sighs> me emoji thing. Just says emoji. But my my best guess is that they're going to have some random like image AI image generator for some reason because uh, Qualcomm has been like consistently like putting out tests of how quickly they can make an image on device. Right, like this is this is going to be a lot of the features of the phone will be dependent on what Snapdragon eight Gen three focuses on. Yeah. So I assume if we already had the the Snapdragon Summit already, yeah. they've talked about okay, yes, the the main chips, the main processors are more powerful, it's more efficient, yes. But now we have all these new cores and capabilities for on device AI stuff. Yeah. So now it's up to every OEM to take advantage of those to differentiate their phone. Ooh, okay, we're Samsung. We're gonna have some crazy on device image generation or some large language model that does cool stuff with keyboards something yeah. like that they'll probably have out. like a wallpaper generator yeah yeah, yeah. that's i think that's kind of cool which is fine it's cool it's flashy for the presentation the thing that would be not flashy that i wish they would do and maybe other phones did it, and i feel like we talked about this with like an amazon fire stick or something but just like a chat bot that helps you with just like settings and things that are going on with your phone Like, the settings search tab is kind of a pain in the ass sometimes when you don't name something exactly what it is. But, like... Context aware. Yeah, if it was context aware and could help you actually change settings and stuff on your phone, especially for people who don't know about phones very much, it would help way more than a Verizon store because a lot of those people (laughs) have no idea what they're talking about. True. Um, And it would help all of us from when our... um, family calls us to help with their phone, <laughs> which is very hard to do when they're talking on that phone and yeah. you have to teach them how to do something. Oh, good point, yeah. So like, I would love for just to open the settings tab and be like, why are my pictures blurry or what is this? But yeah, it'll probably be flashy stuff like camera, cam- photo editing maybe. So, I think yeah. wallpapers oh, is a uh, very Photo good. editing. Photo editing like I think is like the most like obvious like Magic version. eraser mm-hmm. or something. Or yeah. Generative fill. I don't even know what Google calls all of this stuff. Yeah, generative fill or like magic. moving stuff around magic. Magic mm-hmm. editor, magic eraser, magic, magic, magic. Magic, magic. They'll call it yeah. Samsung AI magic no. or something. <laughs> I think worst case scenario would be if Samsung created a clippy like creature that was Bixby that that's was just chilling case. in the bottom of your phone all that's the time. Best case that's best case scenario. That's best case. <laughs> <laughs> that's game changer. Yeah. Me. yeah. I want a little emoji. Guy a little. What would out. Bixby look like? Clippy, 100%. I don't really want to. Bixby like is that. the one that would look like Clippy. I'm I'm going like greenish. With a clown nose. I, like if the Pillsbury <laughs> Doughboy was green and an alien, that's my... Are you going to ask? I'm going to ask ChatGPT like, to make a photo of Clippy. Of okay. Clippy or of uh, Bixby? Sorry, of yeah. Bixby. Okay. While you're on that, there were uh, some, some of- very minor leaks of possible S24 features. Yeah. One of them was just a straight up ad that was on like a like a counter in some retail <laughs> store that looked like it was the S24 Ultra. And it looks basically just like the S23 Ultra, but silver, maybe a titanium rail. Yeah, so from the back, it looks exactly the same as the S23 Ultra. Mm-hmm. There is a rumor that it might have a f- totally flat front. Which I'd be happy about. I think that would be awesome. Because they've been getting front slightly screen. more flat mm-hmm. every year. They had like peeled over the edges for S21 Ultra, and then they mostly flattened it for S22 and yeah. S23. Yeah. And they could go, the only phone that's really actually fully flat is the iPhone right now. Like they, they just go straight 90 degrees on the corners. I'd be into uh, flat phones. The um, Do you remember the S2 or the Note 20, the regular one? That was flat, right? Note 20. Remember, there's two versions. Uh-oh. And the Note 20 was like, everyone loved the form factor yeah. and everything, except that the specs were way the worse. The Note 20 was the plastic one, right? I think so. It was the cheaper no, the, version yeah, of the, the two. Glastic. Glastic. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. I think, oh no, maybe that wasn't totally flat. The wow, Note 25 huge bezel. The Ultra had the curved screen. I don't know. I'm surprised I did that. The Ultra had curves, sh- curve for sure. I just remember everyone liking the size and the form factor of the Note 20, but it, the specs were so much worse right. compared to the Note. And when you buy a Note, you kind of want that. But um, yeah. I don't know. I think totally flat. That's the fine. other rumor, though, I do like about the S24 and S24 Plus versions are supposedly they're flattening the edges, kind of like the um, iPhone 11 to iPhone 12, where we had rounded edges versus flat edges. 
mm. on mm. the side of it, the rails. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. I honestly, I love my Zen phone. The ultra wide camera has left some to be desired. It's pretty soft. Yeah. And I want a case for it. And just there's not a lot of case options. S24, the regular size, there's going to be way more accessories, yeah. an extra triple camera. Ugh. I might go to the S24. I would throw I a try Mini Joe S on that, though. I hate Samsung. We'll see scan. what happens. It's been a long time yeah, since I, I've used I hate Samsung what UI, dude. But, Every time um, I daily a Samsung phone, I do have to spend extra time making it usable software-wise, yeah. yeah. just for my own taste. Yeah. I think I use Nova Launcher on my Note 8. At least. Is that still um, around? Yeah. I don't... I don't know. Weirdly enough, though, Probably. I apparently never took it out of the app drawer on my phone, oh. and it's kept moving, and I just <laughs> recently took it off my Zen phone because it's moved to so many oh, phones since yeah. then. No, like, I've never uh, opened it, but it's just been sitting yeah. there. Yeah, and you can it's launch funny. it from that icon, and it'll jump into the launcher. Yeah, yeah. I never I never opened it again, so I just yeah. recently got rid of it. Maybe I'll have to bring it back if I go that's 24 out, but <laughs> Weird. All I'm right. kind of excited, low-key. My news resolution is oh. actually to clean out my subs on YouTube and subscribe to some new channels. That's I. I've I've been subscribed to the same like tiny growth every year group of channels, but there are a bunch that are dead, which I don't have to unsubscribe to, but I want to sort of refresh it. So I'm gonna when I see a good video, I'm gonna like investigate and maybe subscribe to some channels this year. Hmm. Are you gonna subscribe to Andrew's keyboard channel? I'll investigate. I'll watch a couple of videos. <laughs> we'll see what kind of what kind of material we're working with. But if you haven't subscribed to Waveform, you should this is a good one for you if you like it you as should well. don't investigate any further something yeah. just subscribe somebody commented uh at the end of last week's episode and they, they say i watch every episode but i always forget to like is that a problem <laughs> it is and i was yes. like fake I mean, fan you watch just i'm kidding. glad you watch every week no, yeah i know youtube knows to serve you last episode you know. how many people were like caught me doing the dishes Oh my god, so many people. Apparently a lot of people do the dishes while listening to Wave. I appreciate all you dishwashers out there. I did not wash dishes when I was in college. I do not wash dishes. Still? 